Hello everyone and welcome to this very special Nintendo UK stream of Pokken Tournament or Pokken Tournament? Pokken we, Tournament. Pokken Pokken tournament. tournament. I know a lot of you guys have been uh, questioning how we say it um, on our YouTube videos and things, so uh, we're going to say it a lot of ways today just to annoy yeah, you. Yeah, it's going to be it's <laughs> gonna be one or the other. It's going to be it's gonna be mixed. Um, yes, I am James Bowden. I'm Community Manager here at Nintendo UK, for we are in the Nintendo UK offices. And I'm joined today on commentary by Game Boy Luke. You right, guys? It's Game Boy Luke here. How is everybody doing? And then over on the controllers, we have Jay Miller who many of you may know from Smash Brothers tournaments and his Luigi play. And next to him is Michael St. Louis, or Ho For You, who plays a very strong Pikachu in Smash. So will his skills with Pikachu translate to Pokemon tournament? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out today. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so on this stream today, we want to do a couple of things for you. First thing we're going to do is... Um, just break down the game a little bit, show you what it's all about, show you what makes Pokemon Tournament a Show me game. what it's all about. Show <laughs> what it's all about. Um, Luke is a massive Pokemon fan, it would be yes. really cool to see what yes. you think of this game. Um, and then after that we will have the final of our Countdown Clash, which you guys have been voting on on Twitter and YouTube for the past three weeks, which is really fun. So it's Gengar versus Garchomp, those are the Pokemon you chose for the final. Um, it's going to be brutal. Yeah. And, and then after that, um, Miller and hope you are going to have some fights with Pokemon they want to play with, and then we're going to open up to the chat, see who you want to see, who you guys want these guys to play as. So without further ado, let's hop into the game and have a look at what Pokemon Tournament is all about. Exciting. So you've had a little look at this game. I was just going to say, yeah, I had a little bit of um, did a little bit of research uh, the night before last, I think, um, just at some basic stuff, you know, the simple tutorial. Proton. Proton's on screen right now, Proton! Um, <laughs> um, but I, I did look at some of the basic stuff, um, and I okay. could take um, stuff from other games that I've played and notice that they are in here as well, like for other, if you've ever played other fighting games, like, Smash is one thing, like as much as how different this game is, like you can still take stuff that you've learned in Smash and apply it in this game, yeah. um, but it's it's a different game, it's 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 something, it's its own type of game, and that's what I really like about it, it's something you can learn for sure, so. Yeah, definitely. Um, what you would have seen then is you have to choose your Pokemon that you're playing as, uh, there's a choice of 16 there, and then you would choose your support Pokemon, which is mm -hmm. a support set, so you have two Pokemon, and you can change which one is your current support you know, as, the, as the match goes on. So first round you can have one, mm -hmm. second round you can have another. That's all about augmenting your playstyle, working out you know, what counters your opponents, um, you know, what they're doing. If they're jumping a lot, you take Rotom. Yes. Because Rotom, Rotom says no jumping. Yeah. No jumping. No jumping. Um, Whereas if you like to buff yourself, you'd take Eevee because it Eevee enhances you, right? Enhances you, gives you health back, and boosts your attack for a short period of time. So it's all about augmenting your play. Mm -hmm. um, but we, what we're going to have a look at first uh, before we get onto the matches properly is just how the game works. So they're just loading up the game now, choosing their support for this round. Rotom, thank you. <laughs> Chosen Rotom. Um, that was accidental. Oh, <laughs> you are my favorite. So. Every match starts in field phase. Mm -hmm. uh, field phase is you have full 360 degrees of movement, so you can run around wherever you want. This is honestly a really interesting mechanic. Yes. In, all, in all honesty, it, it looks super fun. But you can just run around in like a 3D environment, right? It is very unique um, to Pokemon Tournament. And in this mode, um, your Y button is primarily your ranged attacks, so to throw attacks mm -hmm. at the enemy. Um, X is your homing, so if you tap X, you're homing towards an opponent and deal a poker combo. Um, Pokemon. And then pressing A is your Pokemon attack. Okay. Once you land specific attacks, as you just saw then, you will swap to dual phase. Dual phase is your more traditional yeah, as I say, yeah. left to right, keep your distance, keep your spacing. In this mode, uh, when a certain amount of damage has been dealt out, mm -hmm. it swaps back to field phase. Okay. So the game's constantly going between these two phases of play. Yeah, I, I didn't know that, because I feel like it would be unfair if one person has the advantage, they're just beaten yeah. on them in dual phase. I mean, because if it didn't, people would just get you against a wall and just pin you yeah. up against that wall and just keep... No one likes that at all. No one, so, no one likes that. So that makes sense. Um, so that, that, you know, it gives it gives the matches a really interesting flow because the dynamic's constantly changing, it's mm -hmm. giving you breathing space. That's not to say, it, you know, when it swaps phase, it's easy. Like, because when it swaps to field, you can just hit X and zoom after them. Yeah, and suddenly you're yeah, in their yeah, face. Yeah. Um, but all of that, so all of that phase switching is kind of... Um, held up by an attack triangle, as they refer to it. Yep. Um, we'll just wait for them to get into the next round. 
Uh, do you want to show off Rotom at the start of this round if he's charged? Is he charged? So, please do. Please, please, please do. Let's, let's see some Rotom. <laughs> let's. I know he's not charged yet. Oh, he's charging. Show us Cubone. There he is. Look at him. Cubone with a little boomerang. Um, so yeah, let's talk attack triangle. Um, in this game, Y, X, and A do all your attacks, which yep. you've been seeing. But if you press um, Y and A, you grab. No, sorry, you counter. With you y counter and a. Y, and a. y and a. So that's a counter when you flash blue. That lets you absorb attacks and and like attack back. But even I noticed that if, even if they don't hit you, you still hit them with the counter. Oh, yeah. yeah, you still okay. hit them with the counter. Um, and then if you hit the other two face buttons, you do a grab. Mm -hmm. um, so a counter attack absorbs and beats attacks. A grab will beat a counter attack because they are charging up and then you just grab them and smack mm -hmm. them. But if you see someone going for a grab and you hit an attack button, you cancel that. Grab. You cancel their grab. You cancel their grab. Okay. They drop it. You break it. And if you use a heavy attack, you go on the offensive. Right. And so you can, it's, I'm assuming you can just combo in after that, and it's, yeah. it's, it's like an opening for you. Yeah. But it's so, all about knowing what they're going to go for and making the read that they're going to go for. Yeah. It's a constant game of rock paper scissors that's yep. going on as you play. Um, it's not as simple as that. Like when I break yeah, it down yeah. like that. <laughs> when I was speaking to people about this, said that there's this. It, it is rock paper scissors. That, that's what it is. But it's more to that at the same yeah. time. You have to think about it, um, and it's like it's the difference between playing low level and high level. I think because once you get to that specific level, you have to make uh, predictions and reads. And if you make the wrong read, mm -hmm. then it's going to come back down on you. And yeah. Oh, okay, I think we can see Rotom. So get, get that Rotom in. <laughs> get Rotom I have no in. idea how excited I am for this. <laughs> Prepare yourself for the ropes off. Look jump, jump Charizard, jump! <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. So Charizard went into the air and Rotom just zapped him. Get him, Rotom. Um, so without a strong counter. So, what you want to watch out for when you're playing um, Pokemon Tournament is if someone's flashing blue, they're going for a counter attack. Okay. If someone's flashing green, which you'll see a lot when you fight for champ, they're going for a grab. Grab, okay. Which means you want to attack back at them. If you see a red flash, that's that means a, an attack has beaten the grab. Okay. That means someone has tried to grab. So they've countered the grab in the sense, in a way, yeah. without using the word counter, but like they've beaten the grab. Yeah, they've, they've, beat, they've beaten the grab. Okay. Um, so it's those three colours, if you watch out for them, you can start to see what you're doing wrong, what your opponent's trying to do. And, it, it and makes, usually, when you see people play, they have like a pattern as well. Yeah. You can you can see them with the colours, I imagine. Like a very a very a pattern that a lot of Machamp players are using um, right now in dual phase is they'll get close, they'll go Y, Y, two light hits, then they'll try and go forward and A to try and run and grab. Okay. What they don't realise is that if you just mash the attack button as they're going for that grab, you swap you them count away. Them. You uh, count them, you swap them away. Okay. It works well if the opponent guards because they guard, you punch, you punch, they just soak it, so you go for the grab. That makes sense. If they connect with the first two Ys, it doesn't make sense to go for the grab. Okay. But like you start to realise where people go for grabs, you start to realise where people yeah, go for counters. Yeah, it's just not how, it's not how they play. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so that is, that is, <laughs> in a broad nutshell, um, oh, that is broken yeah. um, That's the two phases, that's the attack triangle. There is so much more mm -hmm. like, to cover, but it's all very character specific um, after that, once you actually start I was going to say, because it's like, it's, you, you can pick up like a, like a, a relating this to Smash, because I play Smash more, but... You can play Smash and you can learn the basics of it, and then once you start getting into the nitty gritty details, it's it's something so much more than just mm -hmm. rock paper scissors. Yeah. Um, and then there's like matchups as well, so different characters obviously are better against other characters, and it's like having to adapt your play in yep. order to beat different matchups and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So uh, I think we should have our countdown clash final because I want to see Gengar versus Scarchon. Um, I do too. <laughs> Gengar's a really cool character. Gengar is um, a pretty cool Pokemon. So. So who are we going to have on on which character? Is that? I'll be Garchomp. Who's Garchomp? So so hopefully you, Michael St. Lewis is on Garchomp, and James Miller is on Gengar. Okay, so Gengar mm -hmm. is a character with a lot of low health, but a lot of um, a lot of mix-ups, a lot of choices. Okay. So Gengar's got ways to cancel out attack animations to move in other ways. Oh. Gengar can drop these little blobby poison That's cool. around the arena, which don't hurt, they don't cause hit stun, but they um, like cause a stat downgrade, so they reduce the opponent's attack. Gotcha. Um, there's lots of cool ways um, that you can use Gengar. <laughs> Garchomp is all about just 
getting in your opponent's face. I can imagine he just, would be, because Garchomp is that kind of Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, you just stomp all over them, you make them terrified to do anything, um, and he can actually change how he uses a lot of attacks as well. Like, you can dig, you can go under, but then you can either come up with an attack, oh, that's cool. or you can cancel it and just come up onto the ground, or you can jump and come down from the air. It's like so there's different mix-ups for it. Yeah. Um, one, one question I do have about this is, are there any, like, tight matchups at all? So, like, if... Uh, for example, if Garchomp was to use, like, say, Crunch, would it be a le any more effective on a, on a Gengar than it would be on a different Pokémon? No. Okay. No, there, there, are, there, 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 are there are no... There are no tight matchups. No, there are no tight matchups, because this is primarily a fighting game. Yeah, of course. Um, so there are no tight matchups. You will notice that, you know, a speedy character... Like, the, ca the fighters are categorised with, like, speedy and technique. And, gotcha. And you'll notice that, like, a speedy character will do really well against, like, a Machamp, because they can just mm -hmm. keep dancing around them. Um, but it's not strict. Like, you don't even see the damage values change the type. That was an amazing move. Um, so let's start looking at the match and start seeing how they're playing. I just noticed that like, Garchomp just went in on the Gengar. And Gengar's health just, just disappeared. Yeah, that, that will happen. Um, okay, so Garchomp took the first round. That was a nice grab just at the end there. Um, so interestingly, another thing about support Pokemon is that um, they charge sort of they charge at different rates, mm -hmm. and you can have support um, cheers which mean you could go into a match like uh, Jay Miller has done sure. with a charged support. Uh -huh. So he could use that. He also has full synergy if you wanted to go Mega Gengar and Mega Gengar is terrifying. Is he really scary? Yeah, he just completely changes. Like, you think you know Gengar, then he goes Mega Gengar and it's like, <laughs> oh my god, he can do all these things! Um, His moveset's really interesting as well, like it's just like a, sort of like a neutral air in close. Oh, that was a Ooh, grab attack. Yeah, so Gengar can like disappear and stuff. Can disappear to like trip people out. And I did see air dodges when they, these guys were playing earlier. Okay, so that was a sensible grab. That move is very punishable. Another interesting thing about Gengar, he steals health and synergy uh, after a lot of attacks. Oh, so it makes sense that he had low health because he had the yeah. opportunity to grab more. Okay. He seems like a very interesting character. So here's Mega Gengar. Let's. Uh... Oh. Maybe you use the streamers to put some pressure on, but you can't really pressure a synergy Pokemon. Oh, it's synergy about the synergy now, though. Oh, here comes the... Uh, oh, I swore we would have had a burst yeah, oh, attack after that. Uh, blocking too much, and he gets grabbed. Punished. Oh, Garchomp going for the... Oh, and Jay Miller was pressing buttons. Pressing buttons is the worst thing you can do in this game. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> suck at this game. I'm gonna suck at this game. Um, basically, when you see a Pokemon in synergy, they are scary. Okay. Um, a Pokemon that uses their synergy will they'll, they'll ignore light attacks. So those Y button attacks, they kind of just go. I, I they, just, they just this, they doesn't even phase them. Go, this doesn't matter to me. Um, so wait, they, are you saying they, they they take damage from it, but they don't take knockback from yeah, it? Yeah, they don't take hit stun. There's no <laughs> hit stun on them. But that's why if you go synergy, then it levels it. Okay. So as you'll see a lot of players, if you're if you're losing, um, you'll pop synergy. If you're winning, you'll hold your synergy. Okay. Because you will want to use it. As when they, yeah, when they yeah. use theirs, okay. Synergy also lets you um, lets you use the burst attacks, which you did see yeah. um, at the end there, which you only use once when you're in Synergy. Uh, a lot of them are easily blockable, um, except for like Mewtwo, that's a grab, so you have to dodge them that with a jump. Mm -hmm. So you have to use them when you see the opponent. Uh, but a lot of players will just go for their Synergy burst. Um, because damage scaling is quite severe. That was a good dodge. I was going to say, that was really cool. Like, I popped this in and avoided the grab. I'm, oh, I'm, so I'm, that is gosh. It's really hard. Yeah, it's hard to like commentate with this because this game's so new. Yeah, we're exactly. Still, I'm, still I'm, trying to I'm break just like down. in awe. I'm in awe right now. I'm just like, this is so epic. That was better spacing from. So Garchomp's counter attack goes has much better range than that. Moves that. Really cool. So that was the dig, smart. he saw the block, so he cancelled the dig, went with the grab. I like that's that you really can cancel smart. out moves and stuff like that. That's really interesting. Was that like a, <laughs> so that was domination. a jump. That was a jump cancel out with the dig into earthquake. That was a very good, very good attack. Okay. That's interesting stuff. His moves are so interesting. Like I really like what they've done with him. Like so, he's, he's yeah. like wacky feel about him, and like that, that's perfect for Gengar's like he personality. Does. Um, the jump A, he just he zips all around the place. If you can get your opponent, um, you know, scared, Gengar can do a lot of things. Yeah, I feel like he's um, like with a lot with enough practice. I mean, it goes for every character, but with enough practice, Gengar could be definitely be 
He threw it. That was a wall splat probably there. And we're back in field phase. I noticed, yeah. <sighs> Move! Bu is loving those dig cancels. He is putting he is putting them to work. Well, the grab. Well, that was, he read that grab really well. I have a horrible tendency to just stand up and block. And people just grab me when I stand up. Yeah. Um, and it's like muscle memory. Because like, you get you get into, you start getting into that. It's hard to get out of doing it. Yeah. Oh, have we got a... Yes, Mega Gengar landed his burst attack. That Yo! Really <laughs> well, the thing is, because when an, when an opponent uses their burst, you either completely turtle up and you just shield and you get grabbed, or you try and go crazy and hit them with a heavy attack, and that yeah. makes you really open for burst attack. So it's, okay. it's, it's a hard... It's a learning process. For sure. <laughs> so can you... Is it possible to avoid the burst attack? Absolutely, you can block most burst attacks. Oh. Um, but the thing is, if you block too much, the opponent's just going to come up and grab you. So oh, it, it'll... Yeah. Oh, oh, the Gengar God. almost had it! Why? Why you do this? So does that, oh, does that mean Garchomp is our winner, doesn't it? Because that was the second match. Well, I know how many people in the chat were using uh, Garchomp when they first picked the game. <laughs> should, we, should we make it a best of, no, make it a best of five? Yeah. Well, best, of, best of five. Best of five. Yeah, yeah. Best of five. Go on. We've got time. We've got time. I want to see. I want to see more. I feel bad for Gengar. I want to see Gengar put to work, jump, jumping Pokemon attacks with big, with big yeah, Gengar yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. And four days. That that grab is, is too good to miss. Um. So interesting. Mm -hmm. I can't believe like I don't know. It's like. I guess Gengar has low health to, to compensate for other things, but like, so you, you, see, you see a number, yeah, right? He's 5'10 against 6'6. Six, six, so six. he's already down like 150. Yeah. But I guess he does have projectiles as well, so they can do like chip damage. Yeah, he's point. got some really interesting projectiles. So it's like his standard projectile, if you just press it, he throws it and it's a normal projectile. But if you hold it, it goes really slow. Oh, so really? You can so mix ups, mix ups. Yeah, you can use it to control space and then you can move around. Yeah. Ultimately, Gengar's biggest problem here is he's a character that likes to play with his opponent, okay. and Garchomp is a character that says, I don't like me No, I don't, I don't like me playing. And, and <laughs> Garchomp just like storms into you and gets like a kid that got attacked, got attacked. And that jump into Earthquake is doing a lot of damage. I wonder if you can counterattack that. Damn. Damn. Nice counterattack. <laughs> but Gengar's counterattack isn't as good as Garchomp's, just on the. Just on pure range. Yeah. I think Garchomp just with his like just that spiral just where oh, he launches at you. The grab, oh, the grab oh. on the wake up, yeah. That's yeah so you can't you can't grab whilst they're in like they're in like they're sort of no, like when they're waking up, frames, up yeah. yeah. If they didn't jump or if they don't attack. That's the thing, like, if they think you're gonna grab, they'll just hit the attack button and they'll just lock out your grab mm -hmm. as they get up. What's interesting to me right now is that this Gengar was on like five hit points and now he's still he's able to make. Oh, he's got more. No, he's got more. Oh, wow. Ooh, so the Gengar wins, right? So oh, intriguingly, lost. Gengar did win that Damn. round. But I will oh, say, yeah. interestingly, from timeouts in this game, um, the health is a percentage of your total health. So if you're both on 1%, if you're a Pokemon with a smaller health pool, you're going to lose. Uh, you'll have a higher percent. Oh, you're right, actually, yeah. So Gengar would actually, if both Pokemon found themselves on one, Gengar would win because he has a higher percentage. Right, of yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. You can draw in this game, I know it is possible. You'd have to get through the same character. Uh, or you'd have probably. to have like, a different health and, and the percent yeah, would have to line up. It's be. most likely to happen if you're both Kukari, you okay. finish on one or whatever. Um, but it is, it's interesting that that's how the, how the timeout situation is equated. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting that it's a uh, percentage and not a um, actual like the actual health number itself, but it makes sense because each character does their own health, I guess. I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, but like, uh, Gengar's on like five, and he managed to come back, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, no, that was good. Good show. But Garchomp is putting to in avoid the, work. the attack. Dig, was smart. dig was avoids smart. projectiles. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty vicious move. <laughs> oh, D Knight, yo, Draco Media, look at that! I'm the synergy. This man's coming out here. Oh, but Nine Tails is out. It's Nine Tails that disrupts. Nine Tails um, causes an attack, um, but it just sort of stays stationary. Nine Tails is really good as an assist if you are a projectile user, okay. so you can put Nine Tails out to block the opponent getting to you and just throw the projectile. Gotcha. Um, even though, as a breaks and player, I don't use Nine Tails. Hey. Hey. 
And that's nice for cheering from Neo as well, like you get a little bit boost at the end of each. Yeah, so you can choose what that cheering does before the match. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can choose if, you know, her cheering is going to help you more if you lose, or you can set it so that she doesn't have any loss or win, but she always brings your support Pokemon up to max for okay. the start of the round. So I personally, I go with the support style because I go with a very strong support Pokemon and I want that to be available right from straight the away. Yep. So I can use it at the start of the match and then it's going to charge over the match and then I can use mm, it. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. So you've got to make a lot, there's lots to think about with this game. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm learning a lot just from yeah. watching it, honestly. And even just beyond your I want to play as Gengar. Like, you have to make a hundred extra choices. Yeah. Um, it's definitely one of those games when you pick up, you're just going to have to play each character and feel out each character until you, you, know, you feel comfortable with someone. Yeah. Um, I'm just, I'm, one thing I'm looking at right now is, like, the shield. Um, and how it's punishable and what you do to punish it and stuff. Because, like, shield's, like, one of the things, like, I feel a lot of new characters, but new players are just going to tap shield. You know, I'm mm -hmm. safe now. Completely safe. But it can be punished and... I've heard that you are number one shield breaker oh. in, in the world right now. So. <laughs> oh, and congratulations to Garchomp, the official winner of our uh, countdown clash. Um, as I say, Gengar is a tricky character. These guys have been playing um, all afternoon, but Gengar is a character that takes a lot more um, working out than, than Garchomp. So now, guys, if you guys just want to... Um, Play as who you want to play. We want to see the characters that you know you're interested in. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got a Blaziken from Jay Miller, um, and we will see who Pikachu from Hope you. Excellent, good. So the shields, yes, yeah, sorry, you're talking about shields. Mm -hmm. So shields in this game works similarly to Smash, but not identically. Yeah, because um, so I know ones in Smash that like, they <coughs> when they get worn down. Sorry. I should say it's not called a shield in this. It's just your block. Oh, it's just okay. So there's no shield. Yeah, because no. Character design. The the, the the visual thing, the blue, that's just a representation of okay. character block. Okay. Um, so as someone does damage to your block, mm -hmm. um, it's going to affect it. You're going to take chip damage. Um, but if they use stronger attacks, it could make it go from blue to red. Oh, so it changes colour. So it changes colour and then it's going to shatter. Um, but the thing is, breaking a shield is, is not like guaranteed follow-up or anything. You have to be ready to punish that shield if you think it's going to break. Yeah, so if you're going to be working that shield, you got to know you're yeah, about to break it, so you're ready to follow-up. Okay. And I do have, with breaks, and I do have a very cool combo where I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to, I don't mean to brag or anything. Where I thought you can use um, in dual phase, up strong Pokemon attack, Pokemon attack, makes fireworks. Support yeah. Pokemon pressure, then do that again. And, you're and you play Bregson, right? I play Bregson, okay. yes. Okay. Um, hello, Shofu and PK Sparks <laughs> and everyone <laughs> that I've been playing online. <laughs> Goodness, uh, it's been fun. It's been good matches. I'm really excited to get the game myself, actually. Yeah. It's, um, I don't know. I, I think the traditional fighters, or the style of this game, is, is definitely quite interesting. It's, mm. It'll be fun. It's a really sure. unique fighting game. As for as much as it takes from traditional fighting games, yeah. it does. It's got as many fresh ideas, and it's you know it feels really cool and really unique. It's definitely something like I said at the start. It's, it's, it's just, just got its own own feel to it. Let's have a look at this match that's going on. Jay Miller seems to be doing a lot better now that we've let him choose the character he yeah. wants to play as. He's <laughs> getting in revenge now. Yeah, now, now it's like, the gloves are off. Yeah, Are you yeah. wearing gloves? Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, Good old Blaziken. Um, so Blaziken is really interesting as a character. They're very fast um, and she's very, very combo focused. Mm -hmm. But if you use the, like, Bigger versions of Pokemon attacks is when you hold the Pokemon attack button. Okay. Blaziken damages itself. So oh, like, it's just like Flare Blitz, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Recoil? Okay, that makes sense. So it's like you need to know you're going to land before you use it, or... Well, so even if you don't land it, you still take the Recoil, or...? No, uh, you take um, temporary damage. Okay. Which is where, if you look at the health bars, you might sometimes see that they have um, these light green bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, the faded green bits. You can get them back by causing a phase shift, or using your burst, okay. your synergy burst. So, you, so yeah. even if you're not a character like light Gengar, you can still recover yeah. some of your health in some situations. You, you always want to be the guy causing phase shifts, because okay. it's not just a shifting gameplay. Oh, we got a magic Magikarp on the field. <laughs> go on, I, know, go on. I love Magikarp. Magikarp's a combo breaker, so if Jay Miller was to land an attack, not a grab, if he was to land an attack, Magikarp would just flop on his face. Um, <laughs> That's so interesting. No, I absolutely love it. Um, That's great. That was, that was a good synergy. Basic synergy. Yo, this, is really cute. this game is beautiful too. <laughs> 
There we go. Excellent. <laughs> that attack does a lot of damage. I can imagine. Yeah. Well done on for Jay Miller taking the first game. He's this, feeding uh, himself right now. He's loving yeah. this. He's <laughs> loving this now. So, by character. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Yeah. What were we talking about before that? I lost my, ch I lost my chain. Oh, you know what Magikarp and him stopped on the flames? Yeah, I just saw Magikarp and I was like, this is amazing. Um, that was it. Blazer Blaziken um, hurts itself with the more powerful version of the Pokemon attack, so okay. you need to like nail when you're going to use them. You'll want to use them more to like, fo like finish combos. Mm -hmm. um, Damn, the range on that! That attack's huge. It's, it's Blaziken's really only you know, viable ranged attack in field phase, so you'll be looking out for it a lot after you play against a lot of laser guns. I love the aerial move movement as well. I think that's really interesting. Because like normally yeah. like a lot of aerial movements are sort of like really, really punishable, but it looks like they're great to actually initiate a combo and initiate the Yeah, so battle. Pikachu's jumping strong is one of the best combo starters in the game. Uh, your friend Shofu knows a lot about that. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that the one problem Pikachu has in this matchup is that Blaziken has a lot of um, has a lot more range because of his beautiful legs, um, <laughs> and just his attacks move him a lot more. Uh -huh. So he will constantly be moving forward with his attacks, like with his strong attack and dual face. He just moves forward just, and yeah, sort of just crushes you, forcing them into, yeah. into a corner. Whereas Pikachu, um, Pikachu's range is a lot smaller. That is that's <laughs> that's GG. That's a good um, That's two hundred and fifty-five hits. Two hundred fifty-seven hits. Um, or is he a Pikachu has to work a lot more and actually get in on you? And if uh -huh. Pikachu does get in on you, um, it's got a little command grab that he can use, uh, which he can follow up with wolf splat combos. Mm -hmm. um, but in this specific match, um, you know, unless Pikachu, Pikachu needs to move around a lot, temp plays can into unsafe attacks, which is not easy when you're playing Jay Miller. Okay. Um, <laughs> Pikachu has the range attack as well. Pikachu has got a lot of ways to like try and force people to do what he wants. Mm -hmm. um, if you jump into a Pokemon, you cause thunder like, on the other Pokemon. Yeah. Which is a really good way to try and force them to do things. So um, you have their approach, it makes them come to you, because you can just sit yeah. there and do that if you wanted to. Unfortunately, Blaziken <laughs> isn't really a fighter you want to be next to you. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> Blaziken is the true, character that's like, this is, in exactly, your, this is, in your face, this is yeah. exactly where I want it to be. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> Yeah, he seems like Pokemon was once in, in your face. It's like super hard to just kind of like, you know, back oh, off, get away from me. I'll do a grab. That was just a nice select. Another interesting thing about um, this, can even if you miss with your burst attack, uh, you get this massive boost to your speed. Oh, like speed boost. That's cool. Yeah. I, I really like how they've done that. Like, you can... Oh, they've taken, taken elements from the actual Pokemon mm -hmm. games, like in the battles and stuff, and actually applied it into this in a, in a way, which is really cool. That's really cute. So is that 2-0 currently to, yeah. to yes. Jay Miller? Okay, so we're doing a best of five for this as well. Sure. Um, but this seems to be another one-sided bout. So if you guys, you guys on the stream, if you want to start shouting out who you want to see these guys play as, because um, yeah, we want to show you guys the Pokemon you want to see. Suicune, um, I want to see Suicune. 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 Yeah. I mean, he's on the layout, he's right there. He's like, where, he's, where, where well, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. He's, I'm waiting. he's looking, he's looking he's good. Like, what, what about me? Suicune. Can't be on the layout, um, I'm not playing me. I'd, I, I missed him out of my little combo video we've got on YouTube, so I thought I should give him some props. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, the um, tutorial video I watched, that was, you know, when I was learning a little bit about this game, uh, was the guy was playing Suicune, and he does seem like a really interesting character, although I didn't get to see much. Suicune is one of my favourite Pokemon, hands down, so it's, it's like, be, it would be really interesting to see what he can do. People want to see Mewtwo? Weavile? See, I've, seen a lot, I've seen some Suicunes for you, Mach for you, Luke. A lot of shout-outs for the... Machampion. Oh. Machampion. <laughs> No. Is that his name? No. Is that is that what he's referred to in this game? A lot of players play Machamp on actually. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty popular. Oh, Gardevoir. Gardevoir is an interesting character. Yeah, um, you said earlier you have to like sort of learn the character before you she's got, like, she's got something you just pick up and play. She's got loads of selects, so you press back an A and then you would choose how she what attack she goes into from that. Um, so she's got a lot of potential. Ooh. Pikachu took that first round. Pikachu coming back. Someone shouting out for breaks and yes, <laughs> <laughs> my 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 Anamu pop princess breaks and um... Anamu <laughs> still going. Let's have a look at this match that's going on right now. It's a very close. Yeah, yeah. You'll notice a lot of those attacks 
normally go on one attack more than you think they do. Mm. <laughs> so I see a lot of players dropping guard like one attack too early. Yeah, I was thinking like, it's just also about letting frame data too, you don't know when, know when to drop the shield yeah. so that you can come in. Which is something that happens after experience, which is experience I guess. Dude, everything's just the camera's yeah, all over the place there's for a, a lot second of, there. Both players were trying to use a lot of the um, movement options, because if you press um, left or right with X, your character will actually spin around uh, with the homing attack, so you can move around projectiles. Ooh. Things like that. Nine health for... One health. One health. Pikachu trying to use that thunder. Can Blaze can make a comeback? Well, Draco means here might help. Uh -oh. Will it help against the Sydney first? Oh! It might oh, be. that was... could have followed up on that one. He really, he yeah. really wants his Synergy Burst right now. That's all he needs. Jay Miller, oh, Jay there Miller it is! Was sitting on, on that Synergy Burst. No! no! Oh, man! The, 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 so other high. Got, the other guy snuck in there. It was cheeky. Pikachu's just torn right now. You should've done it instantly. <laughs> so it is now 2-1 to Jay Miller. I mean, once you get into that situation of both Pokemon have used their um, <laughs> synergy bursts, then you are looking at a much more standard fight. Okay. Um, but with that fear of a synergy burst might appear at any time. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Mewtwo versus Shadow Mewtwo. That's interesting. Oh, surely we can let the players find that one out. I just don't want to see people play Mewtwo. He's, no? Yeah. <laughs> but he's a great character. No, no, he is a great character. He just he does a lot of things that annoy me. <laughs> As a player, <laughs> um, you know, he's a hard Pokemon to fight against once in a while, but they do too. Yeah. Very strong, very strong. Okay. Just to clarify, is that how long these players have been playing for? Uh, so they've only actually, they had their first, you know, session with the game today, this okay. afternoon. So what you're seeing is simply an afternoon of play. And Which is respectable, because I'm yeah, seeing some yeah. pretty cool stuff right now. They've already started to adapting to each other's style of play and, you know, I, I mean, I don't know if I want to pick this game up, I don't know if I'd be able to pick up it and learn it as quick, so I'd have to take some time with it, but they're already grabbing shields and... Beautiful counter attack from Pikachu there. Exactly. Um, yeah, and it is, even though it's a fighting game, it is still a unique fighting game. So you can bring your fundamentals to it, but there's still a lot of very unique things you have to learn about this game. Sure. And you know, the guys were telling me earlier, they were surprised with how much there is yeah, it's to not this game. To it. Yeah, Yo, there's this combat right now. Pikachu is, Pikachu is on the comeback. Yeah, he's picking it up. But both players are starting this round with full synergy meters. Um, Miller has that Victini that you could use to give him a little buff. So he's got he's got two right here. So the thing is, if he was to go for a synergy burst, I'm assuming the other Pikachu would also just go for a synergy burst on equal playing field. Or? Yeah, chances most players would probably choose that option unless the Pikachu felt confident that he could keep a synergy burst playing field at bay. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Because like, you can still use strong attacks to keep them at bay. Mm -hmm. Can't use a weak text. No. I'm gonna have to remember that. <laughs> I'm yeah, gonna no, have to remember that. It's something that catches a lot of players out. I'm gonna sit there and try and low attack a, a Mega Blaze kid and be like, oh wait, I can't do this. <laughs> uh, that attack's really interesting that Blaze can use. That actually um, affects the Pokemon stats if you land it. Blaze can bring a lot of pressure on. But you see, he just walked up and the Pikachu I'm yeah, gonna he, attack you through that ground. He just did a whole chunk of damage to him. One hit point. It seems to happen often. It's so Pikachu fierce. Is, Pikachu is just, you know, using that counter attack is a really good way to just scare the opponent from ever coming close to you. And this match is going down to the So way. close! Oh, oh my goodness! goodness. Oh, fucking synergy! Oh. Uh, no! no! Oh! That was so just close. That, that attack, that looked to me like a very good read. Because that attack, Pikachu actually jumps up in the air and flicks the Thunderball forwards, oh, right, yeah. like in the air. So, so that was a very that, deliberate. Red, he was ready for it. I reckon he's going to jump and uh, do that. So that okay. was very good. Okay, I see. That was a very good. Because if that attack had missed, Blaze could probably could have used the animation time of Pikachu to like slink in and okay. launch their attack. So they two, they two, two. So right it off? is, it is two for two. Damn. So we are going into the final of the. Oh my god! The characters, comeback. the characters they want to play best of five. All right. Catchy name, yeah. Mm -hmm. The stage is also coming. I mean, Pikachu is now you know, getting used to his zoning tools. Yeah, he's adapted. Better. He's definitely yeah. adapted throughout the play. Um, maybe taking the first two games is kind of like a, a learning curve. Yeah, very much so. And now he's like, why don't Ready. I typically do in this situation? Yeah, making so the I've got this option that I can use to stop that. For sure. 
Pikachu is on point in this round, using that thunder Fire. to pressure, trying to pick up those jumps. Uh huh. Is he taking any damage? He, he is working on a perfect. Oh, but there's the grab. Uh, that stops that. He's like, no. to that. Oh. oh. Wow. I mean, that is a good meaty option to just go for that, but it does. It's got a little bit of charge up, so sure. Pikachu managed to sneak in with the attacks. Yeah. Pikachu seems to be like one of the Pokemon that's just trying to slip in, mm -hmm. realizing it's very quick. So don't forget, guys. After this round, uh, they will be swapping up characters to characters you want to see. I saw a lot of Sweet soon earlier. I saw a lot of Weavile. Weavile. Um, yeah. Actually, actually, I, I, Weavile seems like a very interesting Pokemon as well. From what I was watching, there was some cute like, moves you can do, like yeah. can hang in the air with designs or something like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Weavile, when you first see him, he looks like a character with like you know one or two little tricks, and then he starts using his ice and jumping off it and launch and bouncing you up in the air with it. And it's, there's a lot of things you can do with it. He's quite mm -hmm. surprising. Speaking is cute. What are you speaking? It's actually really cool because there's a whole bunch of Pokemon that are in this game that are uh, like. I would say like easy top 20 Pokemon that I'm interested in. It's going to make it really, really hard to choose Pokemon, <laughs> but at the same time... Oh, I'm seeing a lot of attack strings into grabs from these guys, um, which is very which is very interesting. Mm -hmm. So they're doing a couple of attacks, but then instead, nice. of, instead of cashing in with something else... He's not going down without a fight. Dropping them and grabbing them. So we are now in the final, final round of this best of five. Who's going to take it? This is literally going down to the wire. No pressure. <laughs> sound off, sound off in the comments, who's gonna win? <laughs> Blaziken or Pikachu? Press 1 for Pikachu. So Blaziken actually has an air dash. If you jump and press R, Blaziken dashes forward. Can't fly this. That's kind of cool. I say, it's all about mix ups, all of the options you have. Mm -hmm. and... That is good. Pikachu's Thunder is a really good pressuring tool when you're at range, but you just saw there, the hit song is so amazing. You just use it close up and then you just you punish them afterwards. Damn, there's Pikachu's a lot. so scary! Oh, he, yeah. Oh, there's the oh, magic card. Oh. He's saying, I'm not going to let you combo me. That's really, that's actually kind of my to use right now, actually. Cause... Yeah, magic card doesn't stick around forever, though. Okay. Oh. oh, yeah. Going through those light attacks like they're nothing. Oh, but Synergy Pikachu. Best Pikachu. Pikachu's so like, scary! <laughs> we are chancing a raw burst. Pikachu blocked it. Oh, Ooh. the counter cancel dash was not necessary, but good combo. I mean, uh, Pikachu, when Pikachu does get in, he has the speed advantage. Okay. It makes sense. Blaz Blaz um, Blaziken just needed to keep that a little bit more distance mm -hmm. and, like, force Pikachu to miss a lot. Um, that's the best bet. But well done to uh, Hope for You for winning that best of five. So now we're, um, yeah. That was a good comeback, very good comeback. So now we're going to choose some characters that you guys want to see. Someone needs to be a Suisun. Uh, so who Suicune. wants to be Suicun? Suicun, Suicun, Suicun. Uh, yeah, um, And... We take Weavile? I, I saw a lot of shouts for a lot of shouts for Weavile. Um, yeah. So we should get a Suicun versus Weavile match going on here. That's cool. Um, get it? Uh, <laughs> very they good. laughed, I'm okay, it's very all good. good. It's all good. <laughs> and um, I will actually point out to you guys, I should say this at the start actually, but you may see these two players next to each other, but they are playing over a LAN. So they've got two, two, two consoles, two yeah. screens. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Which is a pretty cool setup, I must say, just sitting just sit there, <laughs> keep going over, just like... It's also... Yeah, they're playing in a volcano as well. Yep, playing a volcano, throwing some ice around. It's really cute intro animation. <laughs> That's awesome. Super cute. Weavile looks great. Weavile really looks good. So Weavile wants to get super close. So Weavile can run! wants to stay really far away. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is going to be a very... Whoa. That's some interesting moves right there. It's like Miracle or something? It's cool. A nice grab attempt. Sweetfield obviously has better range because of what are they? Are they tendrils? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to call them. They're like ribbons, but ribbons, pretty, pretty, pretty ribbons. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Because I, I noticed the attacks of them as well, and I was just like, wow, that's kind of cool. Mm. It's quite mysterious the way he just stands on all fours. And just yeah, they're just kind of like yeah. in the wind. It's good. Yeah, he's the North Wind Pokemon, yeah. so it makes sense. So that be. what you just saw there was a grab against a counter attack. Mm -hmm. um, which is really good. You'll you'll see a lot of a lot of those just rock paper scissors situations when someone's standing up 
then someone has to make the decision of, am I going to try and grab them? Am I going to try and counterattack? Am I going to grab? What I like to do is hold counterattack over a down opponent and then press back an R and you dash away. Uh, so then, so the then they're going to stand up and they're going to go, oh, yeah, the they're going to try and do that, something and then that's, you that's cool. come in. We've also got the synergy bar as well, so... The, um, that's actually a really interesting mechanic, which I'm telling all you guys, because you can all use it tomorrow. Um, so if you do press X and A to do the counter-attack, you can then press a direction and R to cancel it and dash in that direction. Oh, really? Which allows you to soak attacks, no, it's right now. And, then, and then like dash through. So if you're facing a Brakeson online, and they're throwing a lot of projectiles at you, you... You hold X and A to absorb it, and then you press forward and R to like dash forward, and you do that. So you can cancel attacks. out of the count, you don't have to hit yeah. them. You can just absorb the attack, and then just... That's so cool! Like, you'll get other situations where you both charge a counter, and like, um, one of you, if one of you starts the, the charge earlier, then they have the priority. So, I see. so if you're the second to charge, you're going to want to dash away. Okay. So it's, uh, Yo, look yeah. at this, that's so cool, like, you can just sit there on the ice, like, that. Mm. And then he can shoot him whichever direction he wants, and that boosts him off it, it's, Ooh, he's a very agile one, character, man. and he can set traps in field phase, so, yeah. we've also got a lot of tools. It looks like it, and the claws extend too, oh, the synergy, oh, the, the synergy clash, playing field. Diglett, Diglett, Diglett's really frustrating, because he just comes at you, and then he just starts attacking you, like, <laughs> This is good. That was a chance, chance there. That was a, a, good, a good shield. Oh, the Weavile's synergy just ran out. So we can still go in at it though. About to run out right now. Ooh, just in time though. It literally ran out. Wow. Weavile wow. does not look happy. <laughs> look at those eyes. He's, he's, he's like, I'm going to get to you. <laughs> Why you do this? Look at the player. Speaking of him, like, the, what is that? What is the ice wall? Is it just, is it just there to throw people off? As far or? as I know, it can stop the opposing projectiles. Uh, so okay. it's basically Sweeken's way of saying, no, I want to win this projectile war. Gotcha. I'm going to put this in here. Mm -hmm. and then, can he fire through it? I believe so. Um, don't quote me on that, because okay. I haven't played a lot of Sweeken. Okay. Um, mm. So I don't see technically kind of like pecked off the wall, kind of like jumped off the wall? Uh, that, that, that was um, because the Weavile caused the phase shift. Oh, um, okay. And then if the phase shift occurs when you splat against the wall, then you spring So you can over. be in that so neutral, neutral, neutral in, yeah. in field phase. But the phase shift is all about giving you that breathing room and changing the perspective you don't have on the game. It's, it's a really interesting mechanic. Um, as I said, you can still get used to it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really cool. Ooh, dropping the shield at the very last second right there. Very nice from Jay Miller. Should we change up the characters a little bit? Shall we, um... Oh yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> what if we press... Oh yeah, that's fine. Shall we have a Lucario? Um, yes. People are enjoying the Lucario. And I saw some people asking about Libre. Um, in the chat, and we have seen Pikachu today, and I, uh, it's really fun how different Libre is. Yeah, that was one of the questions I had earlier, like, it, it, the differences between the two characters are, so it'd be cool to see Libre in action. Because yeah. Libre is a completely different character. Like, that, that whole jump and thunder thing that Pikachu does, like, Libre does not have that as an option. Okay. So, it's, uh, Libre is much more about getting close, close range? getting those oh, yeah. grapplers. Okay. That's cool. So, Jay Miller as Libre. Mm. And Mike St. Louis as Lucario. Let's see how this match goes. Um, I mean, I have to vote for my boy Lucario. Lucario is free. Well, that's fine. I'm a, I'm, you know, I'm a fan of a small Lucha Libre mask wearing. Oh yeah. Playing. Oh yeah. We're gonna. We, you wanna put some money on that? <laughs> so I'm, I'm rooting for Libre. I am, I am rooting for Libre. Okay. Look at Lucario. Look at him. Yo, that's such a good move. What that the heck? That's a great move. Range. That's a great move. It's, it comes out of nowhere. It's really close. The range is great. You can't dash past it. Lucario's oh, trades. These trades. I mean, Lucario's got that big bow star. Yeah, I noticed. Um, yeah. Oh, that was a nice grab. I mean, oh. The attacks were flying fast. I, I probably wouldn't have chance to grab there, but good choice. Oh, he can like sit in the air. Oh, he's yeah, Lucario with his um, projectiles is very strong. He can charge them in the air. That's really cool. Get through. 
massive orbs on the ground. But there's the belly flops. And there's the whale lord. Did you see the whale lord? I did just see the yeah, whale lord sighting, followed by the whale lord. The biggest Pokemon. I do love all of the um, like Pokemon that's going in the background. I was gonna mention like yeah. I noticed like it's on the stage is really really interesting. Like on the haunted house got like Gansley and stuff, mm -hmm. and then on the register stage there's like a saber line inside a minecart going yeah. around. Like it's like I I've played this game a lot. Uh huh. And I keep seeing new Pokemon in the background. I'm like, I didn't see there was a Rapidash in the stables on this one. You know, I just see yeah, it out. Always landing new stuff. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah, obviously Lucha Libre is a girl because of the tail, isn't she? I noticed that, you know what, I did notice that. <laughs> this is the Love Heart. Yeah, Love Heart tail, cosplay Pikachu. Libre has some spectacular combos. Ah, oh, that little thunder drop to finish it off. Yeah. That's kind of that's cool. Oh yeah. Pikachu's face. Ah, <laughs> oh, Crag's Eye, the sound he makes when you use him as a support makes me laugh every time. He just goes, BOW! <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for your input, Quagsai. <laughs> yeah. The Mud Bob's effective. So he, he, so he has, it's Dragon similar to, charge. yeah, as I say, it's similar to um, Smash. You can charge, you can't hold onto it, but you can charge it and then pop it out. Which is cool. Oh, so Libre charged him with a counter attack, but the thing with the counter attack is it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. So even if you charge it all the way and let go, if the opponent, say, is match and they're using their big you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. fist, that will actually stop the counter-attack. Like, the counter-attack is not the be all and end all. It's oh, not, it's so not... if he has a hit that hits multiple times, yeah, you yeah. can actually cancel their counter-attack. Yeah, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny window okay. after a counter-attack happens, when you can still, when you can actually, if an attack happens, it punishes the guy doing the counter-attack. I see, I see, I see, yeah. I see. So it doesn't make it broken or... Ed Overpowered or it anything. It doesn't make it overpowered. It doesn't make it the like go to yeah. buttons. It's not guaranteed, no. which is good. Oh, we've got an assist battle going on here. I mean, that was very um, good from Ooh, OB the following the right counter of the attack. So. Uh oh. Are we gonna... Oh, was that double team? Yeah, you can choose which of the three you that's, reappear that's as, really, That's really cool. And you can actually attack them in a direction. <laughs> Wow! That was very good. He can do the combat right there. Double team is interesting. <laughs> yeah. He's way too heavy. Nice. Breath. So I will just say, after this, because of the setup in this room, it's just going to cause a mess if we move around. But me and you are going to actually record a match after this. Aren't we? Are we doing, it, gonna, on, are we doing like, it on stream? No, no, we're going we're gonna to do, do it off stream and then you're going to put it put on, on I'll put on my channel, channel, yeah. So if you want to check that out. So that's Game Boy Luke. Yeah, that's that's Game Boy Luke. Uh, that's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna get this. <laughs> so, you guys, just uh, feel free to choose any character you want. We'll get some more shout outs. You wanna go random? Next match. Oh. No, don't go random, don't go random. Oh, no. Braxton. Yeah. <laughs> the Braxton. Oh, we got a Braxton. Yes. Um, oh, my bad. <laughs> um, I do also have to say that these guys are playing on these lovely fucking tournaments. I didn't know, yes. Yeah. Um, which aren't available from store.nintendo.co.uk um, Shameless <laughs> alongside, plug, shameless plug. <laughs> Alongside the game, yep, shameless, awesome. shameless. There you go, there's control. Um, it's a very good control, it gives you all the buttons you need. It's actually kind of nice more. to hold too, like it's... Yeah. It's cool. And the buttons aren't like... Yeah. I don't know, you know, you know the shoulder buttons on the GameCube? Mm -hmm. like they, they, they pull down these like click buttons, yeah. which I like, because you push them and it, you know, it's, it's, it's done. Yeah. So it is a... It's a very nice controller and it is wired, lovely wires, so no input lag there. Yes. So it's you can imagine people complain about that. Yeah. So So it's 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 the controller I play the game with. Breaks and just Breaks and yeah, here we have Breaks and um doing breaks and things. Just, so she's got a lot things. of options. Fire spin is a really good way to stop your opponent moving. You can, throw them one, two. Like you can put a fire spin in front of someone and stop them advancing, or you can put a fire spin behind someone and then stop them. The one I know is even if you're shielding, it drags them into you. Like yes. it's just come here. Which, which isn't ideal because sometimes they will just attack you oh, okay. out of it. Um, but the up and strong up and X is one of her best attacks because she spins at them with her wand. Um, Yo, the range! That's crazy. <laughs> That um, also she has a mechanic where if you hold A to charge, ah oh, the golf swing, using the golf swing. Um, or if you use A to charge, she'll do a little pop star pose with spotlights, and then the next Pokemon attack you use will be enhanced. Okay. Um, which is very strong. And when she uses Synergy Burst, she is every Pokemon move she uses is enhanced. So she is super strong, super oh, strong. <laughs> well then, and the definitely sounds like a force to be reckoned with. And the pressure she can put. 
Because that's the thing, people play breaks and then they think, oh, she's a zone. So if I get in, I'll be fine. And then she starts doing all these crazy, like, priority attacks on you, and it's like, oh, okay, she's not just a zoner. Yeah. Um, it's kind of crazy, like, like you burn and then just, like, launch, like, seven mm -hmm. fireballs at you. So you can actually um, counter, dash cancel through her projectiles, as I said on the stream earlier. Yep. But it is an advanced technique. I don't expect people to be doing that from day one. I'm gonna pick that. I'm gonna, that's the first thing I want you to know. That's the first thing I'm gonna try. I'm gonna pick the game. I'm gonna help. What's, what's well, go, go into training and just be. Yeah, like, I gotta nail this down. That's important. So there are some frame traps I noticed as well. Like if you hit them and they come down, you can hit them again if you time it correctly. Yeah, specific attacks. Um, different attacks create a, a different kind of like effect on the opponent. You know, and as you say, some you're able to pick them up from, others they'll um, recover in the air and Punchy. spit away. Right. Um, but it will normally be a case that attacks Ooh. that cause those uh, combo opportunities are probably less safe or don't have as good range, whereas the attacks that cause the recoveries in the air are probably a bit easier to land. So that's the synergy? That's the synergy. <laughs> Get away! Get away, Lucario! It's the, it's the pepper, it's the, the like aerial pepper when you jump as well that is Oh, scary. yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it. Ooh, the oh, counter! Lucario. Is that Can enough? You, it's not. Okay, you possibly could have done first hit into Synergy Burst after that attack. Nope. Damn. He stopped me getting my anime fix. <laughs> Sugoi! What he needs to do is full damage. Oh, Ooh, the timeout. Yeah. <laughs> time timeout. The timeout. I noticed you guys said about the forgetting game. about the timeout as well. You completely yeah. forget. You get immersed in the game so much so that you forget about the timeout. The, the default timer is 80 seconds, which <laughs> it's actually it feels longer than a lot of fighting games I play um, because there are a lot of things that cause the timer to like stop temporarily, like the synergy burst attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but there are plenty of times where you just forget about the timer. Sure. That's cool. So just as a reminder, these two guys see playing, um, Jay Miller currently playing the Lucario on the left and Mike Lewis on the right. These guys are Big Smash Brothers players, and Jay Miller is the best Luigi in the game. Jay Miller! Um, Jay Miller. Check out any any replays of Jay Miller to see him in action and be scared. Oh my God. Goodness. Magikarp stopping those combos. It's, it's, it's no so that's way. like... He pulls what? the magic carp out, he says, you're not comboing me, runs up and grabs it. Yeah. That, that, is, that is a very uh. good strategy. <laughs> so as soon as you start comboing, magic carp will stop you. Does that put you in some kind of like hit stun so you, you, yes. get, you can get the grab? You'll get grounded if the magic carp flops <laughs> on you. What I more meant was that the magic carp um, made him scared to attack. Uh, okay. And then he ran in and went, well, you're just going to expect, like, you're going to stay still, or you're going to, you're not going to want to attack me because you're going to get splat by magic card. So Watch. you're probably going to block, so I'm going to grab you. Um, okay. So I think we've got time for one or two more matches. Um, so who are, we, who are we looking at in this match? I saw a Pikachu. I saw a Pikachu. I've not been keeping count, but I guess we can look at the overall score at the end. Can't yeah. See, see yeah. who is the... NUK pre launch champion. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. A new challenger. A new challenger. Pikachu versus. Gengar. Ooh. Okay. Okay, this is um, Mike St. Lewis playing Gengar this time. Um, if, you were, if you've been in the stream this whole time, A, thank you. And B, um, Jay Miller was playing the Gengar earlier, so it'll be interesting. It was against the Garchomp. So this is it. It's be interesting to see what this matchup's like in comparison. Mm -hmm. Yep. Bring the quacks out, yeah. The quacks. Uh, uh. Oh, I love this gym so much. There are so many Pokemon in the background. I, I just get distracted. Who's bouncing on the trampoline? <laughs> I can't remember. I know there's a Pichu in the background somewhere here. Um, Anyway, I'm looking in the background, I'm not actually watching like, yeah, the yeah. gameplay. <laughs> this is what happens. Um, there's Pikachu with the air heavy, that is a superb attack. Which is that does a spinning combo. one? The one where it spins with his okay. tail, slams down. Ooh, Gengar trying to catch out a jump there. But... So he can mix up, I'm assuming, yeah, you can, you can just mix up, you can go different directions after yeah. disappearing and stuff. So Gengar, Gengar is all about the option selects. He's like. Oh, look at his eyes. <laughs> Oh wow. Pikachu is bringing out the old Heihachi combos. Ah! Uh, 
There's a good counter. The players are like getting way more used to when people are gonna try and grab now. Cause they, well, because they're playing super serious now, they realise yeah. that this is this is yeah, this means yeah, something now. They, they want this title. <laughs> you know, they might win a cookie if we've still got some in the kitchen. Probably don't. Maybe. You should tell them they're gonna win. You, don't, you guys, you win a cookie. You win the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if it means anything to you, you won that cookie. This game was playing the defense right now. Considering the HP. Double the wisp. Yeah, that's a really good uh, pick up. Cause you can oh, we can run in after the item. Oh, I and you can you can place it like <laughs> above. You can place it like above other projectiles. Okay. So if a Breakson is trying to zone you out, you jump and you place that, and then Breakson suddenly like, great, now there's this Will O Wisp coming towards me. What do I do? I have to move around. And that's when Gengar. So he can Sweet also, game. yeah, kind of throw you off with project yeah. projectiles and stuff like that. I, I would say from what I've seen and played off Gengar, he is all about conditioning your opponent into thinking you do. He's a, he's a mix-up, he's a trickster. Okay. He's about making your opponent do what you want him to do. Which does make him a character you have to spend quite a bit of time with um, before you really get Yeah, that's what I said, you need to invest time into, into a character like this in order to get your mix-up game on. He can do a lot of crazy things, like um, his jumping A, he can use R to cancel that, and then he can like swim along the floor towards an opponent. That's cool. So like Shadow Sneak. That's cool. Oh! Ooh. The grab just shut that down. Oh, it's going down now. Oh, never mind, equal bait. Mega though. Gengar is absolutely terrifying. Miss Maggie is There's a barrage of ghost powers right now. Miss Maggie is. Look how fast he moves! Miss Maggie has just come straight towards you, and it's actually a really good um, assist for Gengar. Oh, oh, oh with the burst! Oh, like, oh, the burst. oh. <laughs> Look at the fist! The Pikachu fist! I mean, the thing with Miss Maggie is, is as with Will O Wisp, you, it just starts moving towards the opponent okay. and you force them to do what you want them to do. Okay. Which is very, very good when you're in synergy because you make them do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And they jump and then you use your best. Yeah. That's scary, man. <laughs> so God, let's, let's, have, let's have one more. One more match to see. Who should we pick this time? Who haven't we seen yet? We haven't seen. Um, uh, maybe... Sceptile? The champ, maybe? The champ. Oh, the champs. never mind, they were ready for that one. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're on it, they're on it. Um, it is quite interesting that this, um, especially Jay Miller is sticking with the same support Pokemon. Okay. He's like, this is my anchor, this is what I know. Okay, okay. <laughs> and like, I will keep choosing weird characters to appease the stream, <laughs> but I will <laughs> I will stick with... My support. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Quagsai. You, you gotta love Quagsai. That derpy face. Alright. Neo City. So this! This is the uh, the city with the original teaser. Mm. That old teaser image. How old was yeah. that? How, how long ago was that? That was a couple of years. Yeah. The longest. Yeah. This has been, out, right? I've been, been in, in the works for a long time. But what, what is that? What are we looking at? He, he was like under, underground, like growing plants. So, Sceptile is a ninja. In, okay. If you, if you want the short description, I like that. <laughs> I like that. So lot. lots of like, um, you can actually you've got a ranged grab. Mm -hmm. You've got um, you can swing in the air. If you press R in the air as septile, you kind of hold yourself up there. Okay. Um, and you can plant seeds that then grow as attacks. It's, uh, and that the range on. I'd say yeah, it's they look like Lucario's is. one. And the thing with Lucario's one that you were on about, that's a standard attack. What you're seeing there from Sceptile is a counter. So you can wow. say, I see your projectiles. And you absorb, counter your projectile. Counter. That's yeah. cool. Okay. That was Whoa. the uh, command grab from. I was about to say, uh. I was about to say Zangi. From the chum. Rotom! <laughs> Rotom, no jumping. No jump. jumping. Oh, look at this, look at this pressure. That, that's oh a good use of support. <laughs> Wow. Oh no, that was a bit that was a bad use of support, sorry. I thought Machamp used that support and was like, stop jumping. Right. But actually, that was an unfortunate use of the support because it allowed Machamp to I guess to you, have, you wanna, it's a situation, like you said, real time, it depends which Pokemon or character you're playing against in order to actually yeah. use it correctly. And so that actually heals, it takes forever, but it heals Sceptile. So what benefit is there to using it at the start of the game if you're running full health? Uh, these players are learning the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, no, yeah. You, you, would, <laughs> you would. It's something that you would try and do later in the game. 
it takes a long time. If you can time. put some space between you and the, and the other player. I think it's the sort of attack that you would activate if you trigger the phase switch. You okay. trigger the phase switch, and then the first thing you would do in that new field phase is just heal. try and heal yourself. Okay. Do you know how much it does by how much? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, not. Uh, Sceptile's just one of those characters I haven't had a long time with. Yeah, the range on Sceptile's counter attack is. Uh, Sceptile could also, like, um, be poison on opponents to reduce their defense, and. The counter the game is on right now. <laughs> oh, Machamp's got him on the wall. Down an A. Down an A. Yeah. There we go, there we go. Oh, that belly flop. So interestingly, that belly flop from Machamp, um, you might have seen him glow blue. That's okay. because it has counter properties. Okay. Like a counter attack, but from the air. Machamp can also grab in the air, by the way. He can grab in the air? Yeah, he can grab in the air. He also, uh, he also can <laughs> take advantage if you press buttons. Don't press buttons. I'll tell you, I'm gonna suck at this game for the first like, <laughs> week. I'm just gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Machamp I and Jay Miller. Was... So six to eight. So I think in our little um, day minus one little tournament. <laughs> <graph>. <laughs> um, so well done, Mike and Lewis for taking the most wins in those matches. Congratulations. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. stuff. So what are your thoughts on Pokemon tournament? I want it. <laughs> as, a, as a Pokemon fan, you know, what what do you like about it? I want it. No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's great because it's one of those games, there's no other game like it. I mean, there are games that you can control Pokemon in, like Mystery Dungeon, mm -hmm. uh, Rumble and stuff like that, but you never get to see them in this kind of, what's the word I'm looking for, like, in this kind of style, I guess. Well, that whole direct control over exactly, every action. Exactly, yeah, and that. Smash is like its own thing, and then we have this now, which is kind yeah. of traditional, but it's also its own thing at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's it's different, and it's, it's like I said, I've been sat here, and there were some points where I didn't know what to say, because I was just like, just sucked, just sucked into it. It looks, <laughs> it looks so good. It, I it, can't wait to play it myself. So. It's a really cool fighting game, and there's lots to learn, and lots of tricks. Mm -hmm. But then it's got so much like the background details of the Pokemon yeah, yeah, that, moving yeah. around, and the fact that all of the attacks are derived from... The Pokemon Actual Pokemon moves and, and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's really cool. Um, and you guys, you want to give a thumbs up? Do you like it? Definitely. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> it was good. It was good. I definitely yes. recommend it. Definitely recommend it. Yeah. Good. Um, and yeah, so that is the stream for today. We've had uh, a blast playing this for the last hour and, and talking over it and and everything. Thank you to everyone on the stream that was shouting out for characters. Me and Luke are going to play some matches now, and I'm going to see if he's picked up anything from the last hour. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose bad. <laughs> um, and, we, and that will be uploaded to Game Boy Yeah, Luke's. it'll be up my channel, which is uh, youtube.com forward slash Game Boy Luke. Other than that, yeah. Nintendo America will have their crazy, crazy NYC store tournament on Twitch later tonight, so keep eyes out for that. And follow us here to see any future streams that we do from here at NUK offices. Aside from that, thanks for watching and we'll speak to you later. Bye!